Hello again. In our last segment, we talked about establishing KPIs for roles within an organization. In this video, we're going to talk about how KPIs and goals are used to diagnose performance and how we can use these measurements in our coaching practice. You'll be able to explain the difference between KPIs and goals, help your employees perform better by creating goals, and define productivity and personal development goals. In this video, we're going to talk about how KPIs and goals are used to diagnose performance and how we can use that measurement in our coaching practice. Okay, so we've talked a lot about KPI. I want to talk to you a little bit about goals. So the way that I distinguish the difference, right? So KPI are those ways of measuring a role's contribution to the organization. Everyone in the same role has the same KPI. Individual goals help us build someone's performance within the structure of the role, right? And so I might, if I have a brand new employee in a role, their goals would look different than someone who's been in the job for five years, even though the job is the same. I need to help that newer employee get ramped up and get closer to achieving higher levels of performance than someone who theoretically has been in the job for five years. So individual goals are an essential part of our coaching practice and how we help employees perform. And the way that we really can help people perform through these goals is the goals have to be thoughtful. And I want to talk about two different kinds of goals. There are productivity goals, which a lot of people might even call action items, right? So these are things that have to be done every week, every month, sometimes every day in a position. They can tend to be almost tasky, you know, very task oriented, checkbox oriented, but that doesn't make them not important. So the first thing is to kind of think about what are those goals that need to be done in even in the position that you have that you know you must do all the time. Those can be productivity goals because they contribute to the overall production of the position and ultimately the production of the organization. The other kinds of goals are personal development goals. And so what I'd like to do is pull one apart. Let's say that one of the productivity goals that someone on your team has is to produce a report every week. It's a consistent report. It must be done every week. And in order to get that report done, your employee must gather a lot of different information from multiple sources to compile the report. And let's say we're working with someone who is not consistently producing the report. They're running into time lags, they are making errors, and they are omitting or leaving out essential parts of the report. Now, there can be a lot of reasons, right? And we're going to go through, okay, so let's apply coaching algebra. Does my employee not know what to do, but they're willing to learn? Or does my employee know what to do and they don't want to do it? If we assume and just go for this case that the employee doesn't know what to do, but they're willing to learn, then I need to sort of figure out, okay, what can I help them do, learn, so that they can improve their reporting process? I might want to help them develop their prioritization skills. That might be something that we need to develop. What kind of goal can I establish for someone to help them improve prioritization skills? You know, it's an interesting comment, I'll just say as an aside, that I think a lot of folks assume that adults are very good at prioritizing. And I have found that that is really not the case. <laughs> I think a lot of us as adults struggle with prioritizing. And so one of the things you might do for someone you want to help them develop their prioritization skills is you might establish some daily goals for them to work on and to communicate with you about. So for example, maybe for the next two weeks, they send you an email that outlines what they will get done for the day and when they will get it done. Now that might seem a little intense, but what we're doing through that exercise is really driving them to think about their commitments, to think about their assignments, and to make some broader commitments to what will be completed. It's bringing it into their attention so that it's not just escaping them. Now the key here is the skills transfer, is you really being engaged in this process. It can't just be that they send it to you. You have to provide them feedback, ask them questions, and move them forward. That's an example of a goal that you might do with this employee to really Really stretch their skill, build their skill, and now we have not only a productivity goal related to their reporting, but now we're complementing that with a professional or a personal development goal to help them build prioritization as a skill. 
right? So identifying individual goals are as important as key performance indicators. It's how we drive their success. I think I've said this now several times, right? Employees do not come to us with all the skills they need. It just doesn't happen. And so as a manager, the sooner you can kind of identify where their strengths are and what they need to develop to be more effective, the quicker you can help them. And the faster, of course, their productivity will improve. So in summary, a couple of key things to remember. KPI and goals are used to diagnose performance issues, right? This is how we know we have something to measure against to know how well someone is doing. KPI apply to everyone in a specific role, so they're not based on someone else's experience or skill. Goals, however, vary by individuals based on their experience and skill, right? There are two types of goals. There's productivity goals and developmental goals. Developmental goals involve helping people develop skills and insights and perspectives that help them grow in their position. Productivity goals are very specific to the outputs of their current position. And the goals that we set for folks and then revisit and talk about in our coaching really help to drive individual success. And when people on our team are performing well and having success, the organization naturally benefits from that. So these elements are so critical that we make sure we have very clear goals, that there are some that are developmental and some that are based on productivity, and we revisit those consistently in our coaching strategy and in our coaching practice.